I have two stories from Israel tonight. The first one includes Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's son, Yair Netanyahu, and the second one is about Israel's border tensions. Let me begin with the first. Yair Netanyahu, the 29-year-old social media savvy son of Israel's Prime Minister, is making headlines for all the wrong reasons. He wrote to us this evening. Here's a tweet. He said, I love India, Jai Hind. The story behind it goes back to the weekend. On Sunday, Netanyahu Jr. tweeted a photo. It was a superimposed image of Hindu goddess Durga. Her many arms were raised with some indecent gestures. The caption read, Know your place, you despicable people. This tweet was offensive. Many in India criticized Yair Netanyahu for insulting Hinduism. Some Twitter users did give him the benefit of doubt. They said that he may be ignorant about the Hindu faith, but overall the response was not in his favor. So he was forced to take the photo down. He followed with an apology. And I'm quoting, I've tweeted a meme from a satirical page criticizing political figures in Israel. I did not realize the meme also portrayed an image connected to the majestic Hindu faith. I apologize. Which brings me to my next story. There's rising tension along Israel's northern border with Lebanon and Syria. Israeli forces have clashed with the Hezbollah. It is a Lebanese armed group funded by Iran. Heavy shelling was reported after Israel claimed that it had thwarted an infiltration attempt by the Hezbollah. My impression is that the Israeli army is well prepared for any possible scenario. We continue to take action to prevent Iranian military entrenchment in our region. There were no casualties so far, but the conflict can escalate any moment given the bitter enmity between both the sides. Israel and the Hezbollah had fought a month-long war back in 2006. The conflict that followed killed around 1,200 people in Lebanon. Israel has lost more than 121 soldiers and 44 civilians. Israel's northern frontier happens to be among the most combustible fronts in the region. The recent flare-up comes days after a Hezbollah member was killed in an alleged Israeli airstrike. <laughs>